today we're riding at Fukuizumi Bike Park in Fukui Prefecture. It's a small bike park on a ski hill, but they don't use the chairlifts there. They still shuttle up. But despite its small size, it has some of the biggest jumps in Japan. So we're just at Fukuizumi Bike Park, and it's a ski hill, but they shuttle here. It's a smaller outfit. Hmm? It's okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Again, my bike is too big, it looks like. <laughs> So another interesting thing about this bike park is that a lot of people would leave their bikes and allow the bike park to store their bikes um, just because this is the only place they ride and this is their favorite place to ride so why even bring your bike home when you can just leave it at the park. We're just at the top of the shuttle now and the idea is that one day they're going to be able to use the chairlift but they're not quite big enough for that yet. Okay. Oh, they're doing different. I guess they're doing the jumps over there? No. Yeah. All right. More jumps. I'll follow them. What's your name? Eric. Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Eric Des. Eric Yes. Yeah. 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 The shuttle vibe was really fun because basically every lap you're sitting with the, the same people. So you, you start joking around, you get to know each other. But at one point, the topic of onsens came up and that I'd been going to onsens. And, and if you don't know what an onsen is, it's basically, basically a hot spring and Japanese people go there to bathe. Um, it's kind of like a spa. So anyways, as someone who's not used to being naked in front of other people, that came up. But then they were also asking what I thought about Japanese penis sizes, which was kind of funny. And my reply was that, oh, they're just regular sized. So. Out this line. It's a bit wet in here. Lots of roots. Oh, 
I just got a rock to the foot. So there's this jump to hip gap at the park that I really wanted to do, but I wanted someone to tow me in. So I asked during the last shuttle if anybody wanted to do it. So they said, oh yeah, okay, we'll go look at it. Um, but we're just gonna go look. Looking your hip, hip jump. Oh, you're just gonna look? Yeah, just, just looking. Okay, okay. <laughs> Can I get another lap? Oh, it's a bit rocky. Uh, jump into hip landing that I want to do and want to follow someone into it but nobody wants to do it but well, we're gonna go take a look ah okay <laughs> he said only looking. <laughs> he said only looking, but he went. He went, he did it. <laughs> Oh, that hip it doesn't look that bad, but getting hurt in a foreign country is not good either. The shuttle was interesting here because it was on a schedule, it would just go every 45 minutes. For example, in Canada at Coast Gravity, the shuttle just goes whenever it's full. So since it was every 45 minutes and it doesn't take that long to get down, a lot of times people would just go down and just push up and, and session a couple features and then head down for the next lap. A little bit wet down here, a little bit slippery. Someone went over the edge there. Case that one pretty good. Or there was some hard rock. Yeah. 
jump this. Uh, breaking too much. This hip that I really want to do, but I want to follow somebody. Nobody's going to do that right now. And the guy that I did follow said he was just going to look and not jump. And then he ended up jumping. I was like, what? So surprised. And I never went. So. Yeah. You're on a flat. Yeah. Made a big hole. Oh wow, right now? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That sucks. Let's go before it's flat, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's flat. You want to make yeah. Here, just get on the shuttle and fix it at the top. Yeah. Sorry, baby. Yeah. Tell him I'm coming. All right, this is the last lap. I just fixed my tire. Just uh, fixed it at the top here. Sealant pouring out of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's cold. It's cold. But it's gonna be good. <laughs> oh, I put too much pressure in. Cold? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do the big jump? Okay. A sender here. Always oh, a little one to brake check. Phew. I really love the community vibe at Fukuizumi. Riding up in the shuttle every lap was super fun. If you're in the area, I would recommend checking it out. Also, there's a place called Wing Hills fairly nearby, which also has a bike park. I just want to thank my patrons as well. These guys are really helping me out with the channel. They're just making it sustainable and you know, they're really pushing me to do better. So thanks a lot guys. Next week on BC POV, some locals show us some secret trails and Yuka and I go on a hunt to find the Yam Man. The extended cut of that and many other episodes is available to patrons right now.